everyone's BFF in Jacob Batalone is back now with a new series. This time we're jumping into my review of the new series, Reginald the Vampire. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the series, Reginald the Vampire, which is going to be premiering on Sci-Fi October 5th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, this is his new series. Jacob, as I say, everyone's BFF, as we know him as Ned from uh, all of the Tom Holland Spider-Mans. Uh, and, and now that he's in this new series that he's leading, playing the character Reginald, um, you know, I was into the, I was automatically interested. I think Jacob and anything he does is fascinating. He drips charisma. He drips style too. So like, I'm like, okay, let's see what my guy Jacob got. And even though I'm a little bit over the vampires genre and, and, and sub genre, whatever you want to call it, just over vampires period, I think for a while, it's Jacob. Of course, I wanted to check it out. And he stars alongside Mandela Van Peebles, who also is somebody that I recognize from a ton of work. The Mayor of Kingstown, the Wu, the Wu Tang, uh, the American Saga. He's from the Saw and Jigsaw. Uh, uh, he's from Jigsaw from the Saw franchise. Like he's been around, and the two of them work really good together. Um, and with this being on sci-fi, I thought there was a certain level of expectation in terms of the production. First of all, sci-fi stuff always looks really good. But the Tony is television um, is pretty much directed towards teens, but like more mature. So like, you know, ones who don't really care too much about substance, but like just are there to be entertained. So the plot and stuff isn't very juicy. It's very simple. It has this love element to it. All these things that you would expect in a vampire series, movies, whatever you want to call it. Anything with vampire in the vamp vampire genre. Um, but there's a little bit of surprises here. A little bit of tweaks that I did enjoy. Um, first of all, just to kind of highlight this, you know, I think whenever you're enter entering anything you, when you're dealing with vampires or zombies or whatever it may be, you always look to see how would they differentiate from any of the other ones. And I will say like this vampire series is pretty much standard. You're not getting anything out of the blue in terms of like make, origin or any of that sorts of stuff. Like it's, it's pretty much standard. However, Jacob's character, Reginald, He's a little different. He actually has, let's just say special abilities that I don't, I mean, it's not uncommon, but it's just, it's special for him, which makes his navigation as a vampire a little bit different from everyone else's. He has, he has special uh, powers of his own that he doesn't really recognize. And I think he also has these powers both as a human before he was a vampire and then ultimately kind of seeing things kind of manifest now that he's starting to kind of grow um, a sense of, uh, of encouragement in one itself, a little bit of self-esteem here because before that he was having troubles with his manager being a bully. He didn't know how to approach this girl that he liked. He had never been on a date. And then he randomly meets Maurice, uh, played by, uh, Mandela, who just happens to be like a, a, a peer to him, somebody who comes along and, 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 and positively influences him. Um, and it's special. They have a special bond with one another. But, you know, he has his past. I mean, he's a vampire already. So, obviously, he has a history of things he's been through. There's obviously that little bit of instinctual instinctual danger between one another. But, so far, it looks like they got some camaraderie going on here. You know what I mean? Uh, but, with that being said, though, uh, um, the first three episodes were just kind of whatever. I think the fourth episode is when I thought the series really started to pick up. As I've seen the first five episodes... But I think the thirds are like pretty much like oh, I've seen this before. It's not doing anything special. But the fourth episode, I think, is when things I really start to invest into this series, where I really started to want to see where this was going to go. Uh, because there's there's a lot kind of going on that's like messy. It's a lot of drama, um, um, a little bit of gore. It, it, again, it's it's direct. It's definitely directed towards like mature teens uh, with. The language, uh, the uh, applied nudity and sex, and all of the blood and whatnot. So, like, you know, it's not totally cheesy and campy, but, like, it's definitely a few ticks up from that. You know what I mean? 
Um, with that being said, though, you know, talking about um, Jacob's performance, I mean, it, he, the guy has so much charisma that you really see that kind of bleeding into this character, which is a good thing um, because I think it makes the character likable. Uh, but because of what this character is going through, you know, you, you want to be able to sympathize with him and, and empathize with him as he goes through this struggle of being a kid who um, is fat. You know, there's a lot of fat jokes in this film. And obviously, because Jacob has lost a lot of weight in real life, he's allowed to do this. He's allowed to say this. He's allowed to make fun of himself because it is part of the journey he's probably personally been through. Um, so he's kind of channeling that in, in, in this series and whatnot. Um, and it's, it's comedic at times, but like it, it still has a lot of heart. And, and, and with that, like he's considered the, va the fat vampire. And by now, he's now trying to discover how does he navigate being a vampire you know all those sorts of different things to deal with but also like this love interest of his how does he still work that how does he how does he still you know show up to work at this slushy spot you know his uh feeding how do you work through that folks who already know what he is how does he continue to hide from the folks who don't know um there's a lot kind of going on there and then like reginald and and and, and trusting more about maurice and maurice past which Maurice's past is definitely complicated, you know, one being with his maker slash ex in Angela and their origins and Angela assumingly becoming a threat instantly to uh, Reginald, the fat vampire as they call him. Um, and how does he navigate through that? And then like things are just, it's, it's, it's so, it's like a web of like, secrets that aren't really secrets because everyone's just telling everybody's stuff and it's becoming more and more sloppy and, and and then toxic and then speaking of toxic angela is just she is cutthroat i mean the moment that we really get introduced to her she's sassy she's fierce but like she really changes everything especially with her sort of presence over um over maurice and then maurice being uh, you know, uh, Reginald's creator, you know, they have a, a link together, a, a very standard vampire uh, uh, quality here. Um, but, you know, if anything happened to one, happens to the both, and it's just a lot. And now that, you know, every all the vampires now, attention is on Reginald. He's the new vampire, so he kind of has to stand in front of, um, of, of, of the council to prove himself. And because he's fat, that's a little bit of a complication as well, too, because you really don't see fat vampires, but they explain all of this and whatnot. But they have to, he have to prove himself, you know? And, and and thus, that could ultimately mean that he may be killed. And if he's killed, then Maurice is, is also killed. So, <laughs> a lot kind of going on in here. They need one another. Um, they're going to have to be brutally honest with one another as Maurice continues to aid uh, Reginald as his mentor. But I'm a, and, 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 and then Maurice has his own bit of troubles following him, Angela and so on. And it's just everyone has secrets, but no one can keep them. And it's just really sloppy. So overall, the toning of this is like a vampire drama that you would expect on television. Um, a little few ticks up from just your regular, you know, teenage audience. Like it's a little bit more mature, um, obviously, because like things are a little sexy at times. There's blood. Uh, because of uh, the applied nudity and sex and language and all those sorts of things. A little bit ticks up that, you know, young adults can enjoy it as well too or anybody who's just very much into the vampire uh, genre would absolutely probably be interested in it as well too. So, yeah, there's a lot kind of going on here and all of this because of some love and some blood and also other stuff. So, But overall, I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to checking out the rest. Uh, Jacob and Medella are really killing it together. Um, on screen and overall I, I'm entertained by the fourth episode I was definitely like oh yeah I can get into this now it took, it took a little bit I was just like ah this is whatever but about third episode I was like okay not too bad not too bad so but hey check this out again on sci-fi it is going to be premiering October 5th jump in the comments folks let me know your thoughts about it and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon
big 